one. The bell sounds, and here we go. Wepner comes bouncing across the ring and looks as though he wants to be aggressive right away. Ali, known for slow starts, circling ever so patented to the left. He'll try and show his footwork early in the fight. Let's not forget one thing. Ali does not dance like this for seven or eight, nine rounds anymore. He puts on these displays. Wepner will look slow and awkward because he is slow and awkward, but he does deliver a pretty good blow. Another reminder in talking about what some call the Bayonne bleeder. This fella hasn't been cut in two years since an operation over his eye. Ali showing tremendous footwork, but no punches thrown in the fight to this point. Ali is trying to psych his man, trying to make him look awkward at this point. Ali hanging on. He likes to hang on to his man and walk with him. Ali still hasn't thrown his first left jab of the fight yet. taunting his man, talking to him, protecting himself. Now he complains about a punch behind the head. Weapner, again, I remind you, has never been actually warned because of illegal punches, where Ali has a tendency to hang on behind the head, which is definitely illegal. So how do you figure? Ali covering up as Weapner tries to work. This is Ali's first punch, and it misses over the shoulder of Chuck Weapner. Ali in the white trunks, of course. Wepner in red, white, and blue. It's Ali with some roughhouse tactics of his own. Wepner tries to work to his body. Comes back up to the head. Now Ali gives him some shots behind the head himself. Look at Ali going to the back of the head. Referee Tony Perez will have his hands full. Ali pulling some semi-clowning tactics, and now he's got some viciousness in his eye. Ali is trying to psych Wepner is what he's doing. Wepner hasn't hit him behind the head, except for punches that have missed that have tried to hit him in the face. Ali wants to fight inside, and now Ali has got to the referee, Tony Perez, who does finally do what Ali told him to do and warn Chuck Wepner. Ali pushes the forearm in the face of Wepner. Wepner looking for a shot. Wepner trying to punch inside, get that right hand in the face of Muhammad Ali. Ali continues to yell, trying to psych Wepner all the way, but Wepner will hear nothing of it. There's the bell ending round one. We'll go first to Red Fox. Red, let's hear what you have to say about the first round. Well, it was a very exciting round, and he did hit him a few times there back in the eighth. Take a look and see who does the hitting behind the head here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Tony Perez trying to separate. Now, the best of my knowledge, that was Muhammad Ali that was unholding the illegal yeah, shots. Yeah, that was the illegal shots, definitely. What else? Well, you probably lose that round on the illegal shots, too. Well, it depends on if they do penalize him for him uh, or not, is a big question. But uh, certainly, the goodness, uh, Muhammad Ali was no more the winner of that round than uh, Chuck Wepner was. Wepner is unmarked. Neither fighter has been down. Here we go, round two. Bob Sheridan along with Red Fox and James Brown. In the ring, the champion of the world, Muhammad Ali, and the challenger, Chuck Wepner of Bale, New Jersey. Wepner is trying to work to the face of Ali, trying to set him up. Ali still hasn't thrown any combination punches, hasn't done a thing. Laying on the ropes a la Zaire, where he allowed George Foreman to punch himself up. Wepner is taking some good shots now, right to the midsection of Muhammad Ali. Ali again goes to the back of the head. Tony Perez looks at Ali, warns him. Ali yells right back at Perez. Perez is a good referee, and he won't be intimidated by Ali. He's no stranger to championship fights. This is Ali's first right hand. He just catches the ear of Chuck Wetner. Ali holding his fist right up by his head just to protect himself. There's a real vicious right hand. Just grazed the chin of Wepner. Ali will be able to hit Wepner. Ali's got tremendous snap, tremendous hand speed. Ali has lost his foot speed. You'll see him occasionally towards the latter moments of a round. There's a good right hand that goes just off the left cheek of Chuck Wepner. Best punch in the fight to this point. Ali can keep it in arm's distance. So far, we haven't seen that famous left jab of Ali. Ali standing in. This reminds me so much of Zaire. As Ali allowed George Foreman, then heavyweight champ, to come in and do exactly what Chuck Wepner is doing now. 
remind you, Wetner has never been down. Wetner has never been off his feet. Ali landed a good combination of left and a right hand to the face of Chuck Wetner. Ali roughhousing it around now. Round two. Chuck Wetner fighting his life. Ali out there like if it was a tea party to him. There's a good, real good left hook. Right side of the head of Chuck Wetner thrown by Ali. Ali goes over the head now. Wetner continues to work downstairs. Tries to get through with a left jab to the face. Good combination of punches. That's an under and over with a left jab follow-up for Ali. A three-punch combination. Ali now flicking that left hand in the face of Chuck Wetner. He invites Wetner in. Watch the hand speed, the difference in the speed of the hand of Ali and the slowness of Wetner. Wetner does not have good hand speed. Ali has tremendous hand speed. Just a wild, vicious right hand miss. Ali dropped a quick hook and then a quick straight jab to the face of Chuck Wetner. Okay, guys, now Red Fox, you can see what we're talking about. Ali yeah. does have the ability to get through. Oh, yeah, he's pushing his punch right through into Wetner's nose. Like, that time he almost swallowed his mouthpiece. <laughs> With such a jab, wow. We've got some replays coming up here. Now, watch Ali. Watch, watch the jabs here. James, as we, there's one that just sends the face right back of Wetner. There's the right hand that spins the head around. Wetner desperately tries to fire back. Watch this left. Bang, right on the button. Wetner doesn't stagger or anything. He just knocked his head down. Well, here we go with round three. Ali comes out again. A lot of the promoters like Chris Dundee and Erwin Schiff of New York City. Chris, of course, of Miami Beach. They, they think that this fight could be a better fight than most people do. They know the business. around the world. Watch Ali. Here's the first one. The right hand. Now there's the left that lands right there. The right comes back. Spins the head around. He felt that for sure. Now watch this. Another left. Light left. But it does spin the head around. So a glancing blow. But that one, again, a light. Two light shots there towards the end. And the last two punches did spin his head. But I think he was kind of rolling with the punches a little bit. You can see that corner fine. It doesn't look like any marks. And Wepner as we go to round four. Ali dances across the ring, almost tiptoes across the ring, trying to make a joke out of this, but this is not psyching Chuck Webner. 
Wepner is ready for this. He told me he's been a competitor for 25 years in football and basketball in the Marine Corps. But none of that means anything when you're taking straight jabs like those last two off the gloves of Muhammad Ali. The flicking left jab, the, the accumulation of punches that can be deadly when they're thrown by the champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Ali again is doing what he did in Zaire. He's allowing this big six foot five inch, 225 pound giant to come in on him. But he covers himself so well that no damage is done to him at all. Ali standing flat footed. Ali with that light left can make a man look awkward when he goes to throw that right hand. Ali's hand speed looks tremendous because of the fact that Wetner is slow, slow with his hands. You can see him as Ali beat him with the left hand coming from Wetner. Ali beat him with a quick right hand. Left hand right in the face of Wetner. It stops him in his tracks. Sometimes it bounces his head, but visibly unshaken is Chuck Wetner. confidence himself, tremendous determination in his eyes. Ali hanging onto the head. This is his tactic. This is no mistake. This is not sloppy fighting. This is what Ali likes to do. He hangs on. And meanwhile, he protects himself. There's no place a man can hit him unless he can come in with an uppercut. We're supposed to see what they were calling the Ali Whopper, the bolo punch that made so famous. Now, Ali is complaining again to Perez. And again, Ali, as soon as he complains, goes over and starts hitting Wetner behind the head. Perez this time warns Ali. Ali yells back. Perez is not going for some of the guff that uh, Ali would like him to take. Neither is Wepner. Ali is scoring with the left hand, beginning to build up points now. We're in round four. That right hand looked better than it was. It was a glancing blow across the chin of Ali, but no serious ramifications of that shot. Misses the right hand. Ali misses his own left. Ali not looking tired at all. He's in better physical shape than what some of the pre-fight publicity would lead you to believe. There's a good right hand that spun the head around. The bell sounds. Neither fighter, that was nothing dirty there at all, folks. That was, uh, neither fighter heard the bell. You know, look, look at it misses. Look, look at these shots here. There's a weapon's head getting bounced around. There's another shot there right in yeah. the air. And the right hand from underneath the arm, you got to be really strong to get a punch off like that. There's the wild hand. Ali misses that punch. That punch spun hit. the head around. When you see that, there's, there's some sort of concussion going around inside. As we look at uh, Wetner's face, red, I don't see it visibly marked, except for redness and puffiness a little bit. Here we go, round five. James Brown, Red Fox, and Bob Sheridan here at ringside. Heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali, the challenger Chuck Wetner, Bayonne, New Jersey. Ali looking like he's stocking his man, he's backing up, holding that left hand down and now four right hands. In the first round in Kinshasa, Ali threw three right hands and snapped the head back to George Foreman and surprised him. Ali fighting with one hand now. Wetner is not psyched by this stuff, not visibly psyched at all. He comes in, he's a tough kid. He's taking punishment, yes, from that left hand of Ali. Ali is building points up. Ali is beating him to the punch. But Wetner is tough. His best punch, by the way, is his right hand, but he hasn't got it off real good yet. Ali definitely his best punch is that left jab that just accumulates punches over a period of rounds. Amazing speed with the left hand. He can deliver it from where it is right now, the hip. He may have missed that right hand so quickly snapped on the ear, the left ear of Chuck Wetner as Ali was backing up. Ali not taking the fight to Wetner. Wetner throwing those roundhouse punches and those haymakers, as they call them. This is a good place when you're out in this township out here right next to the bar. Hitting Wetner at will, making him look awkward, making his punches look ever so much slower. Ali now dances. He hasn't danced since the very opening second of the first round. Ali will do this to psych not only his opponents, but referees and judges. The fans love it, of course, to see Ali move like this. Beautiful left jab. Slipping punches. This makes him the master of the boxer that he is. Making Wetner look bad. Wetner throws booming punches, wild punches. But so far, no real damage done. 
Ali giving Chuck Wepner a boxing lesson in round five. Ali lunging almost with his left. He comes right off his feet. Wepner continues to come in. Ali in that traditional, famous Ali style of circling to his left. And now it's becoming equally famous, leaning on ropes as Wepner takes his best shots to the ribcage of Muhammad Ali. There's the bell ending round that was probably the most action, uh, James Brown, that, that we've seen in the whole fight. Yeah, well, I used to bleed a lot myself. <laughs> Do you bleed when you sing? Yeah. No, no. Okay. That's not a chance of singing. Here we go. Round six. The heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali working against Chuck Wepner, giving him a boxing lesson through round five. We're in round six. Wepner game continues to come on. To this point... Nothing really exciting to this point. People in the Richfield, Ohio Coliseum are booing Ali, but you can't boo a man for something like this because Ali is doing what he does best, cruises during some rounds. He'll put on a flurry before this time's over. Best punch of the fight thrown by Wetner in that particular time, but Ali had his gloves to catch most of the fun of it. Ali just doing exactly what he did to George Foreman, allowing the big guy to come in. with the jab again in the face of Chuck Wepner. Ali flicking out that left hand as he's so famous for. Many people question whether this fight would go to the seventh round as we're in now. A lot of people had enough doubt to wonder because guys like Dick Young, Milt Richmond, Will Grimsley, Dave Condon, Red Smith, Dave Anderson, Vic Siegel, Reggie Gutteridge is over here from England. They're all here because you never know who would have dreamed what would have happened by Kenny Norton to Muhammad Ali. A lot of people didn't dream Ali could beat George Foreman after what he did to Kenny Norton. Ali is coasting now. He knows he can hit his man at will, and he does. Two quick left hands in the face of Wepner. Watch the right hand. Ali will set up. He'll jab with the left, and then he'll get off a three or four punch combination. He hasn't thrown a combination since back in about the fourth round. About this time, Ali likes to establish that he's in charge of the fight. Notice Ali with very little footwork, but tremendous slipping of the punches. He leaned back and dropped the right hand over the left hand of Wepner. Wepner is a street brawler. Tough, tough kid. A lot of courage. And he continues to stalk Ali as Ali begins to bounce, continually circling to his left. Continually circling to his left. This is what Ali did in the old days. Every once in a while, he'd take that quick shuffle step back to the right and drop the right hand over the left shoulder. Watch him now. Tony Perez has to be Johnny on the spot for this man. Ali goes to the right hand again. Faints left, throws the right hand. Misses with the left jab. Wetner wild with the right hand. Over the... Ali misses.
misses two light lefts. That's something you wouldn't see in the old days. Now it looks like Wetner may possibly have a cut above the eye. I think I see some red stuff that might possibly be hair. No, Wetner is cut above the eye. It looks like a pretty good gash, too. He's got a good gash above his left eye. All right, this becomes a very important factor in the fight now. Very sharp. Here we go, round number eight. This might just be the round. Round number eight. Bob Sheridan along with Red Fox and James Brown to bring you this heavyweight championship fight. Neither fighter has been down, but now we definitely know that Chuck Webner has a bad gash above his left eye. Ali at one time in the free fight said that he wouldn't work to the, the head of Chuck Webner, but what kind of a fight would that be? Webner's tough. Ali flicks out that left hand right on the eye. Again, the left hand right on the eye again. Now Ali has the confident look as he bounces around. He's looking for his shots. He's slipping back to his right now. And he's trying to get off to that left eye of Chuck Wetner. Now Wetner says, come on in. Wetner is not psyched out by Ali one bit. Unfortunately for him, he has got a cut. Don't underestimate the courage of Chuck Wetner. Don't underestimate the toughness of Chuck Webner. Don't underestimate the speed and power and absolute tremendous boxing ability of Muhammad Ali. Ali dancing around now like he used to when he was a kid. He can't do this for 15 rounds anymore, but against a guy as slow as Webner, he can do it anytime he wants. Big bouncing circles to the left. Ali now will take a quick break. All right. Evidently, there was some sort of a kick there, and Ali and Webner made friends over that one. Ali knows he's in command now, James. Very close and very respected man and very fantastic people. Wetner wants to get in Ali and Tony Perez. Hang on for a minute. I'll let you at him. In he comes. Ali hanging on. these corner people yelling, come on, Ali, get off the ropes and end this thing. Wetmer wants no part of even the thought of anybody ending this fight. Cut is trickling down by that eye. They've done a pretty good job on it because it really hasn't opened up too bad in round eight. Drew Bandini Brown, the clown of the corner of Muhammad Ali. As we watch Ali work to that eye of Chuck Wetmer. Wild right hand missed again. It's really kind of hard to see. It's a pretty bad cut it got down. It's a but bad. they seem to be keeping it under control. If they can continue to keep it under control, that's a big thing. But Red Fox... Uh, but Ali seems to be punching at him each time he get a chance. I know that you like to watch that corner of Ali, and I, I guess there's just no uh, question as we look at Wepner that the big factor now is definitely the uh, cut above the left eye of Chuck Wepner. Ali is in complete command boxing-wise. Yeah, how long, how long they'll let it go is, is uh, serious uh, business here now because... With that cut over his eye, you know, and in over a three-minute period, bleeding into it now, and it's going to be very difficult for him to see out of what that eye. The big problem is uh, the accumulation of punches, uh, James, that uh, you know from boxing a little bit yourself. Yep. Seems Ali, seems Ali don't know karate, but he sure knows the razor. That's it. He's got razor uh, slashing ability with that left hand, and he continues to work to the eye of Chuck Wepner in round number nine, the early moments. Neither fighter down. Neither fighter really hurt, except for the fact that we do have that cut opened up over the eye of Chuck Wepner. It's right across his eyebrow. It was back a little bit further towards the corner. It could hang down in his eye and really close it up. His eye is puffy all around his eye, above and below it. But it's not shut yet. As long as it stays open, this fight will continue. And Ali will continue to give him a boxing lesson. Wepner comes in. Ali still has only thrown about three or four combinations in the entire fight. Wepner just can't get through the way Ali knows how to protect himself. And Ali will give him his ribs. Ali can take his best shot. Wepner has a glazed look in his eye like uh, he's beginning to tire and dragging his right foot behind him a little bit as Ali continues to bounce around a little bit. Faint both ways by Wetner, but nothing with the type of movement, the fluidity that Muhammad Ali would have when he does the same type of thing. Beginning to see the blood spurting across the eye of Chuck Wetner. 
Robert is turning his head away from Ali now when he puts that left in his face. It's the right hand that you're going to have to watch out for because when Ali unloads that on top of that cut, it'll split it wide open. We'll look for right hand momentarily here. Butner walks right into the left jab of Ali. Butner not concerned with the left jab at all. He just takes the punch. Ali faints the top part of his body back and slips a punch to his left. Oh, a vicious shot to the rib of Muhammad.
said, Bob, he's serious. Ali is serious as, a, as cancer, and more direct as a heart attack is right at this point. You were exactly right there. James Brown, Red Fox, and Bob Sheridan here at ringside. In the ring, Muhammad Ali and Chuck Wepner. Ali down in the ninth round, but still clearly in command of this fight at this point. Ali is not tired. Wepner is tired. Ali has scored many more punches. And now we see a cut has just opened up in the corner of the right eye, so that means Wepner has cuts in both eyes now. Left eye is really puffy and closing up over and under as Ali puts that left hand right on the button, right on that left eye again. Ali, of course, in the white trunks. That's Wetner in the red, white, and blue facing you now, trying desperately. You can see the courage of this guy. He wants Ali so bad he can taste him, but he just doesn't have the ability to do with his hands what Ali does have the God-given ability to do with his own. desperately tries to get back, does kind of get one behind the ear, but there's a shot up underneath the rib cage of, of Wepner and a good left hand there that spun the head around. All these punches keep Wepner off balance. Bob, like I said, uh, Ali is really serious as cancer at this point, but it's something else that kind of bothers me, the fact that Wepner just won't go down. Wepner has never been down in his career. Yeah. Ali's been down in this fight. He was down the most famous knockdown against Joe Frazier in 1971. It's strange to point out, we're in the month of March, that Muhammad Ali lost two fights, both in the month of March, to Joe Frazier in 71 and Ken Norton in 73. I don't want to mislead you, he's not behind in this fight. And he's dead serious now in round 12. Scheduled for 15, the heavyweight championship of the world at stake. Muhammad Ali is out in front of the fight, clearly, but he has been knocked down. People who make it their business to make odds would never have picked 12 or 13 rounds or even 11 or 12 rounds. We're in the 12th round, the early moments. Ali in command with his punches. Wepner very tough, hanging in there, cut over both eyes. Bad cut over the left eye, a slight gash by the right eye. Red Fox just found out that there is blood coming from the eye because it's splattered on his suit. They have the press dressed in red outfits around here to, I don't know if it means anything. Ali looked awkward that time, and Wetner holds his arms up and says, go on, Stan, is that the best you can do? Wetner's a tough kid, there's no doubt about it. I have tremendous respect for the courage of this man. Ali likes to tie up the big man and walk with him to rest, but uh, Ali is very crisp, beating Wetner to the punch badly with both hands, right hand and left hand. Continues to throw his roundhouse punches, has not scored to the face of Ali at all. Ali completely unmarked, doesn't even look tired, really. Wetner's a tired fellow, but a courageous fellow, taking the combinations of Ali. Oh, good left hand and a vicious right, and a light left hand again to the face of Wetner. Ali's hand speed is the whole story here. The left jab continually in the 
face of Chuck Webb. Ali feints to the right and then drops a quick light, lightning left to the eye again of Webb. Webb comes in, tries to throw that wild right that does go over the shoulder of Ali. The right eye is looking bad, but not bad enough to me to stop the fight yet. But all it will take is one right hand, and Ali can split that thing wide open. Ali is trying to set up his right. There it is. He dropped the right hand over the left shoulder of Webner. We're in the waning seconds now, around 12. There's the bell, ending round 12. James, go ahead. I see it, but I don't believe it. The man is still on his feet. Ali's throwing everything at him. Watch this replay now of Ali going to Webner. There's that left that flicks in the eye. There's the right hand behind the ear. That's a damaging blow. It can be very telling. We're back live now. Ali off his stool. Angelo Dundee and Drew Bundini Brown and Gene Kilroy yelling instructions to him. Well, here we go, round 13, and nobody believed it would be this much of a fight. Wepner continued to come on. Wepner continues to try and come back as the blood squirts around us here at ringside. Fred, you'll be all right. That won't hurt you. can hit Wepner anytime he wants, any place he wants. Wepner cannot return the favor as much as he wants to. Ali bouncing around on the white trunks to the left of the screen. Wepner, red, white, and blue, flicks out the left but just doesn't hit the target. He tickets more punches to the head of Ali that don't land, but Ali just doesn't miss too often than his. There's the left again, right on that eye. Ali is just working the eye and struck Wepner. Wepner, courageous, continues to come on. Looks awkward. Ali ties him up. Very well put by James Brown. Oh! Punch there that caught Wetner off balance. It was a slight uppercut that staggered him around to his right that time and sent him up against the ropes, but Ali didn't follow up. Not like the Ali of old. energy. I remember a fight a few years ago when Oscar Bonavena fought Ali, a very similar fight, and then dropped him in the 15th round. Oscar Bonavena fought the same courageous type of fight, but couldn't deliver. Good left uppercut to the head that time, right in the face of Wetner. Again, the left uppercut. It's coming a feint that time that stopped Wetner in his tracks. Not the punch, the feint. Ali has all the movements. Wetner is sloppy looking, tired, awkward. Ali scoring with the left. this now. Wepner kind of staggers. This is what Ali is famous for. Wepner is just sloppy, staggering all over the place as Ali uh, continues to put punches on him. Watch that. There's the uppercut, the right hand, and the left right back. Ali's hand speed is outstanding. You can see it there so clearly. Looking on Ali, there's the ball. Bobby, did you ever watch as a Charles in his heyday? Yes, I did. Ali got that same kind of razor. Oh, there's a combination. Picked up the pace here in round 14. A reminder, Ali has been down. Wepner has not been down. Ali in a surprise punch was flattened in the ninth round. But now Ali is definitely picking up the pace. Here he goes. He wants to end it. The knees are gone on Wepner. He's in definite trouble as Ali continues to drop those punches in that closing, ever so closing, left eye of Chuck Wepner. Ali bounces the left hand off the face of Chuck Wepner. But 
Martin who stands flat-footed as Ali takes his shot at will. He can drop it anytime he wants. Watch out for the right-hand combination. Muhammad Ali, Chuck Webner, nobody but nobody said that this fight would go 15 rounds. It hasn't gone 15. We're in 14, and nobody believed it would be there either. Nobody believed Ali would go down. Ali has been down. Webner has never been down in this fight or in his career. However, Webner is struggling. Ali is using his resting tactics. Cut over the left eye is very puffy, a big gash. Not a lot of blood coming out, much to the credit of Al Fraverman, Patty Flood, people in the corner of very courageous Chuck Webb. Tough kid. Tries to deliver a blow to back to the heart of Ali, but that time it didn't do the damage. circling left, looking for his opportunity to drop that right hand in there. He'll do it off the left hook when he does it. Ali trying to keep him at punching distance now, which tells me that Ali wants to finish this thing right now. Wetman comes back to the front of his own, but Ali crosses with the right of his own and snaps the head again. Ali definitely wants to finish it here. They're telling him in his corner to go after him. Again, Wetman is not been down in the fight. He's staying around. Trying to put the finishing touches to Chuck Wetner, but Wetner continues to come on. Muhammad Ali has been able to hit Chuck Wetner at will throughout the fight. He picked up the pace, and now Ali is resting up against the ropes again. It's beginning to look like this fight is going to go through 15 rounds. We're in the waning seconds now of round number 14, and Ali caught Wetner with a vicious left. Wetner missing punches. Ali scoring punches. Right hand of the year. A good combination of punches. Again, the flurry ending round 14. Wetner has gashes from both eyes. He's I, just, I just thought that Ali would serve him on a silver platter. But um, I get faith just turning it around. And I'm pretty sure it won't go no further. All right, watch this now, Red. And James will watch Ali scoring with that real good left hand that just catches uh, Wetner off balance. Wetner is so tired and so frustrated by the lack of ability to hit Ali, and then Ali comes right back with a right hand that just catches him so hard. That left did a lot of damage because it hit the eye, although it didn't look as vicious as the right hand. There's a left that really hurt, and a right that was right on top of the cut on the left eye. That punch would ordinarily drop any man. That's the punch that dropped George Foreman, a very tired George Foreman. But Chuck Wetner, very, very tough cookie. Round 15, a heavyweight championship of the world. People are on their feet at the Coliseum. They're seeing a better fight than they thought that they were going to see for their money. Watch Ali pick up the pace now. There's a real vicious left of the right hand. Ali has the killer instinct in his eye. He wants an knockout. He throws an knockout. Chuck Wetner refuses to get on. He relentlessly continues to come on as Ali stocks his man, sets him up with vicious left hooks and crosses with the right hand. Ali has hit him about ten times in this round already. Vicious left and very, very booming right hands. Ali is not famous for his booming right, but that left hand has cut the daylights out of Wetner. If he sets him up with a left, he'll drop Wepner with a right hand. Wepner's never been down. It's a tall task to ask of Ali now. Ali wants a knockout. He wants to knock him out so bad. Real tough left shot to the body of Wepner, trying to set him up. Ali is continuing to circle his left. He'll take a quick shuffle step back to his right knee. Goes after the knockout. And then he'll drop that right hand over the left shoulder. But this time, Wepner comes back with a glance but Ali rolls with his punches oh so well. Tremendous, tremendous fighter is Muhammad Ali. You can't say enough about the courage of Chuck Wepner. Ali ties him up on the ropes. His face is bruised. Ali is perfectly spotless. But Ali cannot drop this man. He'll try and catch him off balance if he can, and if he'll do it, he'll drop it. He hasn't been able to do it to this point. Ali knows he's in command. He knows he's in the lead. And again, Ali was knocked down in the ninth round. Since then, it's been no joking around for Muhammad Ali. He has tried to drop Wetner. There's a good combination. Wetner's ready to go. He's ready to go. Ali comes on. Wetner's staggering. He's out on his feet right now. There's the combination. Ali has his man in trouble. Wetner attempting to hang on viciously. He's trying to hang on. He's out on his feet. Ali
it to the heavyweight champion. Ali is laying down. A winner by a technical knockout in two minutes, 41 seconds of the 15th round. 241 of the 15th round.